Ibo mama no. Ibo ekele mono. Welcome to my page. If I always go to TV. Yeah, I told me say a big happy birthday to my mentor, my president, my president in waiting, the president the people voted for, the whole Nigerian voted for him, and they believe he can change the situation of the country. It's no other person than His Excellency Mr. Pitobi. I want to wish you a very happy birthday, a long life, prosperity, more wisdom, more knowledge added onto you because you're a great man, a great man indeed. Presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter B. St. Joss, the Plateau State Capital to commiserate with the government and people of the state over the killings in some local government areas. He was accompanied by the party's chairman, Julius Aburi. Their first point of call was the governor's office. Speaking at the government's office, Obi says he chose today, which is his birthday, to visit the entirely displaced persons in Mangu to show support to the people and also commiserate with them over the needless killings. Excellency, I chose today be my birthday to celebrate it in part, especially to celebrate it with the people in Mangu. But I decided to pass through here to control you and to show you our own support. Responding, Plateau State Governor wished Peter would be a happy birthday while appreciating him for his visit to the state. According to him, Mangu used to be one of the most peaceful local government areas in the state, but not anymore. He says that losing over 300 lives in the space of two months is a national disaster that must stop. He reiterates his administration's determination to put an end to the killings. After the meeting with the governor, Obi visited the internally displaced persons camp in Mangu and the traditional ruler of the council where he reiterates his commitment to support the government to end the unprovoked attacks in Plateau State. He also donates 100 bags of rice and 5 million naira to the victims. How did this happen? These are things we must look into. Nigerians must live at peace. Especially the less privileged Nigerians. Like I said, we want to create a Nigeria where a child of nobody will be somebody who will be able to live peacefully in a gainful, productive employment. That's what we want. But that country has said this one. Let's work hard and build it. For yeah, Mr. Peter, we celebrate his birthday, your Tata. And um, I'm so happy that old Jerry Ebe Okwe Sereje just celebrated his birthday. Because before then, we should not celebrate his birthday. We should meet the people in need. I just need the help. I need the help. They are the people that need help. They are the people that need to celebrate with him. It will go a long way. So, Ojere Plateau State Jaws. Ebenda IDP camp no nda de boko ara nde esmen chupucha da bi ha eba eba ye de don po ha eba ko jere je support wa ha spend their his birthday with them bi ha akpara e se be 100 bags with 5 million at least at least that all at all those spend almost 10 million naira na is it is this is birthday i'm very happy Pitobi has been an exceptional politician. I will in Nigeria, Adre or Pitobi Adre boy. For the past twenty years, Pitobi have been celebrating his birthday with the poor, with the people, with the less privileged. He doesn't celebrate his birthday with the elite. No, 
since all, since it took this year me had 20 years of buying of buying to police because I was in Anambra State in Boron for election 2003 Anambra State P2P have been celebrating his birthday with the less privilege he doesn't celebrate with the with the politicians or the the high class or those first class people but he doesn't celebrate his birthday with them the heart of the people that is why he's doing all this to make sure that the people get back to their, their normal life. This government have destroyed the youth to the extent that our self-esteem is gone. I want the self-esteem. I just don't want want to far. Why are we behaving like this? I like just don't want to because of the situation the politicians have put in us it will go poverty we take it down you they are also take to the extent i am not our value anymore peter b came in and to rejuvenize the people's hope now into now into now in hope on our line at the time lose la hope peter b better change the situation change the dynamic system but the politicians refuse because they don't like him. They were like, what is, how, Keka Ofonya Yadi, innocent, clean among all of us. Only, that is, I, I, that is their worry. They are jealous. They are worried. How can this man be clean? How can he be innocent among us? King Koyabuno also had the very, very clean, no corrupt record in his name. A man, they deny they have all the p2b friends have refused to communicate with you to come closer to him because for them for them not to be denying because as you go on a board for be happy to be so all these politicians if yeah p2b may hinder them from getting whatever they are getting p2b now lose all his friends he doesn't care I'm happy that he's a man of integrity and he believes that he's going with us with he believes that we the obedient are the people he's going along with. And we want to let you know that we will not we will not disappoint you. We will not we will not back up. We are going to continue fighting this fight. We will be there with you. We will fight this fight with you. Look at the people who are suffering. Look at the situation, Nigeria no We are suffering. We are suffering. Mamudu Yakubu were only mother man, Moke Moke, eighty years or ninety years, the JTC Achi by Moke and one any clue. What are Nigeria will go state or oh, a man anyhow? Nigeria is very big. It need, the country have been down. It needs somebody that can rejuvenize the country, somebody that will that come in with a different strategy. I want to look at the team in the condition. Look at the match at Tafu. Look at the match you could just shop. The match you could just here. We have lost our value. Because of our bad government, our corrupt government, immigrant, we don't have value in the eyes of people. Oh, thank God that people still know that Nigeria have bad look value. Look at Akon. On the only podcast, on the MAN interview, look at what he's saying. Now, Nigeria, Nigeria is the most smartest people in the whole planet. This could be debatable. <laughs> but the Nigerians mm. are the most smartest people on the planet. Right. Yeah, I believe that. I promise you. There's nobody more smarter than a Nigerian. Now, of course, there's there's a few bad apples that mm -hmm. came out. You know what they I'm saying? They smart too, though. No, they extremely smart. Yeah, they smart they, just put they, they just put their intelligence all in the wrong place. <laughs> right, right. If they were to gear that sort of something more, you know, positive or productive, oh, right. uh, so because the ones that did, there's more there's more billionaires being made in Nigeria than anywhere in the world. What does our government don't know our what? Our politicians don't know our what. If they know our what, they will know that we are the most value respected 
people around around the world, but they allow our integrity, our dignity to, to flow on the ground. They allow our dignity to, to just wash away like Miri Zorezo. Allow wine and anyhow. Open our politicians cause to all this rubbish. Refuse to create job for the people. Refuse to create a convenient place for the people to stay. Pitobi is a man of integrity. And the judiciary need to do the best for him to get back to that seat. Because we need to get back this country to make this country work again. Nigeria need to start working. We are suffering. Nigeria is suffering. The people are suffering. The people are suffering. Nigeria need to get back again. Thank you, Mr. Pitobi, for celebrating your birthday with the people staying at the IGP camp. Imira Fuma. Also, and the politicians, you are Paul Gase. You are you mean so much to us. You are the best among all. You are the best. You are the best among all. Also, have all God say, we don't. We, we, we are going to stand with you. Nobody have the value you have in. No politician have the value you have in Nigeria today. Nobody. Nobody have your value. Nobody have the integrity you have today in Nigeria. No politician have it. They are jealous of you. You have a prestige. You have integrity. If put that today, there will people who vote for you. Nobody have your, the value you have today. Peter Obi. Happy birthday once again, my president. Happy birthday, long life and prosperity. Keep shining. Never stop your good work. Aiso Genazo, Mr. President. God bless you. Please follow my Facebook page and my YouTube channel, Isagui TV.